Hello, it's Roman from Animated Mystics, and tonight I am going to be reading and reacting to uh, Nanatsu Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> uh, Nanatsu no Taizai. Um, I have read some of this before, but it's been a while and I kind of forgot a lot of what happens. Uh, anyway. I am reading this on kissmanga.com. I will put a link to the chapter uh, in the description down below. Uh, I'm going to be reading five chapters today. Um, there's 191 chapters. So if I want to get through this pretty quickly, I'm going to at least try to get a few chapters done today. Um, so the way this is going to work is I'm not going to be showing any of the uh, pages and I'm not going to be trying to change my voice for any of the characters. So yeah, uh, the link's going to be in the description below if you want to follow along. So anyway, let's get started with chapter one. Okay, here you go, five giant steins. The shopkeeper of this thriving bar is, huh? A kid? Just who is this guy? The blonde dude with uh, five steins, giving it to a table. Uh, owns a bar. Oh ho! Let me see. Come on. You got room for any more people? Clang clang. How many people, sir? Three. Welcome to my establishment, the Boar Hat. <laughs> the Boar Hat. Uh, I like that name. Um. Let's see. He'll save the world 64 pages. Oh, man. Okay, so this is a 64-page chapter. An unprecedented new serialization. Faded comrades, enemies stand against them, and just a bit of etchy. A new heroic tale that'll rip through your heart. Now you come, too. The Seven Deadly Sins. It's conquering all four of the big shonen magazines. Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to take them all down. Hey, can we get some snacks over here? Anything's fine. Yes, sir. By the way, since when was there a bar on the top of the hill here? You're right. I feel like there wasn't anything here when I passed through three days ago. Pah, Bernia Ale is the best. And we got what looks like a, a beat-up knight coming to the, the boar hat. Sorry to keep you waiting. The Boar Hat Meat Pie Special. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, and they're throwing, throwing out the food, spitting it up. <laughs> this is disgusting! As I expected. Hey, bastard. Just what the hell are you serving? You said anything was fine. You're trying to pick a fight. Oh, dear. What a troublesome customer. What'd you say? You want to go at it, brat? Hey, this kid's got a sword. Clean it up. Huh? Jeez, what a pain. What do you want from me, Pugo? <laughs> Got a tag on his ear that says Starbore. <laughs> uh, a pig? Pig? Don't insult me. I'm a pig that gets people to come here. I'm a pig that gets people to come here. Hork, clean up the floor. <sighs> what a pain. He starts eating everything that's on the floor. <sighs> Actually... How about feeding me some more decent food scraps? If it's a pig hole roast, I seriously feel like I could pull it off. It's just roasting it, after all. <laughs> Delicious! These food scraps are the best! <laughs> Looks like it doesn't matter anymore. So you've been had to? But if it's alcohol you want, I've got a good collection since I travel through a bunch of different regions. The, then some good alcohol. Coming right up. Oh, it's true. The alcohol is great. Nothing left nothing left behind after licking. Then I'll have another round here over here too. Coming right up. So have you heard? The rumors about the wandering rust knight? I'm hungry. You just ate. He wears rusted armor. That ghost knight that's been appearing and disappearing lately, right? It's pretty creepy, huh? He's trying to listen in. And there's more. 
Apparently the wander Apparently the wanderers are Ugh. And there's more. Apparently he wanders around muttering something as if he's delirious. That's terrifying. I think it was the seven what was it again? Look, that wanted board look, that wanted board over there. Uh um that's right. The seven deadly sins. The criminals who plotted the overthrowing of the kingdom ten years ago, I think. These guys still haven't been caught, right? Yeah, not a single one. There are some rumors saying that they all that all of them have died already, though. They're definitely dead. There's no way the Holy Knights would let, just let them go. But these wanted posters are renewed every year. Doesn't that mean that the Holy Knights are still doing everything they can to find them? Maybe that Rust Knight is the ghost of one of the Seven Deadly Sins. Pugo, what's this rusty smell? And he might be searching for his comrades. Hey, what does the what does a kid employee think? I'm not a kid. I'm Meliodas, and I'm not an employee. I'm the owner. All right. Uh, owner? A kid like that? Hmm. Huh? Meliodas. Sounds like something I've heard before. Welcome. Oh, and there's the knight. And a lot of people look shocked. Kofu, Kofu. <laughs> the seven deadly sins. It is here. The seven deadly sins. And everybody's like scared. <laughs> Running out of the building. To the seven deadly sins! Save us! <laughs> We're going to die! And Meliodas jumps over the table, or over the bar. Who are you? And he collapses. Oh, sorry. She collapses. <laughs> it's a woman. Unya. What? Psh, tosses everything off. This sleeping face. This body line. Sniff, sniff. This smell. This elasticity. <laughs> Come on. It's definitely a woman. You you don't feel guilty in the slightest? He's grabbing her boob. Hey, Come on. Y yes? And no abnormalities in your heartbeat, either. Thank you very much. Thank you very much? You bastard! Acting so aloof! Where is this? Um, why am I... You came into the shop in some crazy days and suddenly keeled over. Shop? The boar hat. It's my shop. Are you... the owner? Is that strange? No. That sword on your back. Ah. I just thought you were a swordsman or something. He takes it out. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was horrible. <laughs> uh The blade is broken. <laughs> Did I scare you? Even if it's just the hilt, it looks pretty authentic if I just show it off, right? This is what you'd call an incentive for people not to run off without paying. A lot of different kinds of customers come to the bar, after all. It's hard being the owner. I feel sorrier for the customers that get their cash stolen from you after being fed your food. Just hops off the bed. Wow, it's a talking pig! Pet, pet. I begged my father for one before. The name's Hork. What does your pig say? Right, are you hungry? If you want, I'll let you have some. Eek! You'll feed me pork? I'm not pork! I'm hork! Unfortunately, just food from the bar. <laughs> you piece of crap! Don't say it so misleadingly! Alright, oh yeah, and uh, swear words I'm gonna... I'm gonna change into other things. Since I don't want uh, a lot of swearing on this channel. I mean, it'll slip out every once in a while, but, you know, it'll happen. Anyway! In addition to looking after me, you're even giving me food? Just what, just what can I do to repay you? 
It's all right. Just eat. All right. Thanks for the food. Bite. How is it? Tastes horrible, right? Yes. I knew it. To the point of tears. Oh, to the point of tears? But it's really good. She's crying. Probably the been a while since she's eaten the way she looked coming into the bar. Hey, what were you doing in armor like that? I'm searching for them. The seven deadly sins. Open up! There was a notice from the village people. We are the knights garrisoned at the base of the, ma of the mountain who served the holy knight himself. We have come to capture the rust knight who appears to be one of the seven deadly sins. Some noisy guys have arrived. Holy knight? Come out quietly. If you do so, we won't unsheathe our swords. Coo, coo, coo. Must be an old man. Seems he's scared of us. All right. Then I'll give you 30 seconds. Don't need it. That was fast. <laughs> and who the hell are you? I'm the owner. Where's the rust knight? Bring him out. Come on out. Ha! Looks like you're pretty quick to understand. Someone call for me? Fugo? I'm Hork, the Rust Knight. This pig is one of the seven deadly sins? Like hell it is. What? I'm the leader of the Knights of Disposing the Scraps of Food. Don't you know that? There's no such group of knights. If you'd like this pig, you can boil him, grill him, anything. Don't do either of those. Grabs him by his shirt collar and lifts him up in the air. He's a pretty short guy, like four feet. You brat! You got some guts mocking a knight. Meliodas doesn't look scared at all. Oh, and she's running out the back. Mr. Alioni. A woman just ran out the back door. What? That woman's probably the Rust Knight. Follow her. Yes. And they're chasing her. Capture her! But don't let your guard down. If she's really one of the seven deadly sins, she must possess considerable skill. She's probably really tired. I mean, she didn't eat that much. And she was wearing that armor. Soon enough, Lord Twigo will come. All we have to do is exhaust her and drive her into a corner. Sliding under tree branches, jumping over rocks. If we capture one of the seven deadly sins, our reputation as the Knights of the Beard of, of, the, beard of the Mountain Cat will rise. Man, what kind of name is that? <laughs> oh, somebody got hit with... I don't know what. Looks like rocks? What is it? What's wrong? A pig is charging towards us. <laughs> Orc is running down the mountain. Oh, man, and ramming into everybody. Ah, don't come any closer. Oh, and Meliodas has the girl. See ya! Hork pushes the dude off the cliff. I've got nothing against you, but I'm getting double the amount of food for dinner tonight for this. Then Meliodas, Meliodas has a has the girl up on the tree. Looks like he's grabbing her boob again. Um, you've saved me twice. Thank you very much. So, how's the rest of that story go? Oh, it well, looks like he's gonna have to tell it later. Because uh, I'm assuming this is Twigo. I think that was what they said his name was. The reason I'm searching for the seven deadly sins is to stop the holy knights. You've helped me so many times. I'll never, I'll never forget this debt. But please, somehow, forget about me. Now then. Oh, wait, when did they say her name? Did I miss that part? Elizabeth. You're going to stop the Holy Knights? The Holy Knights are knights among knights who protect Britannia, Fugo. They're heroes, aren't they? And they're terrifying existences. Just one of them has enough power to match an entire country's army. What if they decided to wage war against Britannia? A few days ago, due to a coup d'etat orchestrated by the Holy Knights, the king was captured. The kingdom was essentially fallen, has essentially fallen into the hands of the Holy Knights. 
In order to start a war, they are forcibly recruiting people from the towns and villages surrounding the kingdom. The men are to be trained as soldiers, the women and children are to bring food for storage, and the elderly are to construct castle walls. Without mercy, those who oppose them are. Soon enough, the effects of their actions will befall this region, too. Seriously? That sounds pretty bad. If there were one thing that could stop the Holy Knights, it would be the Seven Deadly Sins. Come on. Are you looking for the Seven Deadly Sins, even knowing what kind of people they are? When I was five or six years old, my father often told me the stories. Apparently, the Seven Deadly Sins was the strongest and cruelest order of knights in the kingdom, formed by seven brutal criminals who carved symbols of seven beasts into their bodies. Then ten years ago, they were accused of plotting to overthrow the kingdom and disintegrate, and disintegrated after the, all the holy knights in the kingdom launched a general offensive against them. And there were rumors of them all dying, if I recall. There's no way that such amazing people would die so easily. Hmm. But they're villains, aren't they? The holy knights are the ones who are actually making people suffer. Yo. Looks like that dude has finally shown up. Man. One swing and he took out a whole cliff. And now they're sliding down. Whoops. I'd forgotten to confirm if they were the people in the report. Well, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Confirmed. Two unknown people dead. Is that all right? But Mr. Alioni was beneath the cliff. Then we can say there were three dead. But Lord Twigo, that's horrible. Then is it seven dead? Yeah, keep your mouth shut, guys. <laughs> he's, he's not afraid to say that he killed, that one of his other guys died. Maybe not that he killed him, but that one of his guys died. Do you think he's going to be afraid to kill you guys? <sighs> Please, anything but that. Ah. Oh, Meliota saved them all, including Alioni. Huh? Mr. Mr. Alioni! And Twigo looks surprised. What are you all doing alive? Don't change my confirmed death toll! Don't confirm it on your own! Hey. Yes, I, I am. Oh, sorry. Hey, you awake? Yes, I am. Well, no matter. Which of you is the one presumed to be one of the seven deadly sins? Neither of you resemble any of the one posters, it seems. All right. When I give the signal, run to the forest. Okay? Huh? Yes. Oh, looks like uh, Twigo's looking at her earring. Well, it seems I'm in luck. The symbol on that earring is that of the royal family, which means you are. He's huge. Confirmed. Princess Elizabeth. Princess Elizabeth? Princess Elizabeth? Isn't the princess of the kingdom? There's a search order out for you throughout the kingdom. You won't run, will you? The orders are to capture you alive, but it can't be helped if you die in an accident, can it? You're wrong! There's no way I can allow myself to be captured. There's no way I can give up. Oh. That one does a huge swing. Knocking out a ton of trees. Confirmed. Accidental death. Uh, not so much, dude. <laughs> Meliodas jumps on her and saves her. And he took out that whole forest. Well, I don't know if you can call it a forest. It's pretty small. Took out the woods right there. <laughs> now then, what will the circumstances of death be? Crushed by a falling tree? Or blood loss from the cut of a whirlwind? Yo. Hork, looks like you're fine. You call the skewered pig state fine? He's got a twig stuck in his back. <laughs> Mama! And he goes running off. A pig? Oh, whatever. Elizabeth! Hey, where are you going? I won't be able to get away. You, you said that there's no way you can give up, didn't you? If I surrender to him quietly, he should not take your life for no reason. And he's trying to kill her no matter what. 
It's too late. He's already in the mood to kill. Left a big crater in the... Well, not a crater, like a chasm, or whatever they're called. Please, at the very least, you should make it out alive. It looks like he's going to kill us either way. Why? I was happy. All alone. I went on a journey to find the seven deadly sins. I've never been on a journey before. I was so worried. And in order to hide my identity, I wore armor I wasn't used to and walked until I was exhausted. But I wasn't able to rely on anyone. But you were so kind to me. Someone you didn't even know. That's why I don't want to wrap you up in this any further. You whose name I don't even know. Meliodas. That's my name. Meliodas? What? That can't be. No way. That... But... You look like a child. That symbol. A beast... No. The dragon. Huh. <laughs> tries to attack him. Obviously, we've just found out that he's one of the deadly sins. So, yeah, that's not going to do anything. <sighs> just reflected it. What is this? My sword would certainly have finished them off. But the one who took the blow was me. What is this? A sword with a broken blade? A child? Do you plan on fighting me with that trash? Trash is just fine. What? Meliodas. Are you really that... Meliodas? Wait, I remember seeing your face before. No, if that's the case, why did you not look any different from before? Have you figured out who I am? It can't be! Truly you are... You are... Takes a swing. Obviously he misses. Meliodas swings with his broken sword, but, you know... It's gonna work. Seven deadly sins. The dragon's sin. Meliodas. Confirmed. This power beyond com common ability. That legendary... Man. Oh, there he goes, right up in the air. Man, he's... Is that hair? <laughs> he's way up in the sky. Oh, he sure went high up. Told you, didn't I? If I weren't using trash, you would have been dead. Well, looks like with this, you found the first one, Elizabeth. About the remaining six. I've got business with them, too, so I've started searching for them recently. I've been running a bar to gather information. Mama, hurry! If I had a serving girl, then I'd be able to get more customers and more information. You'll come with me, right? Yes! Lord Twigo, steady now. Uh, uh, request re for reinforcements from the kingdom. This is serious. Hmm? Oh. Nope. There goes Hork's mother. <laughs> really huge. I wonder if Hork's going to be that big. Nice timing, Hork's mom. Let's get out of here. Gah! A giant pig? Was the meeting coincidence or inevitable? Is it despair or hope that awaits them? My adventure with Meliodas to find the seven deadly sins had just begun. Man. Okay, chapter two. Titled Sword of the Holy Knight. This one's probably not 64 pages this time. Okay, anyway. The relaxing boy is a heinous villain of legendary proportions. Sitting on a tree, look like a chair. Ah, again, nice to meet you. Oh, 40 pages this time. I am Elizabeth Leoneth, the third princess of the kingdom. Welcome to the Boar Hat. I'll be counting on you from now on, waitress. Yes, I'll do my best. 
Well, first off, let's get you changed out of those tattered clothes. I think it's already a, a turn-on the way it is now, though. Pervert. <laughs> what should I do? My heart won't stop racing. I really found one. The customers would like it better that way, too. One of the legendary seven deadly sins, Lord Meliodas. Oh, here it is. Um... These clothes are... I think... It's our uniform. Sorry that his tastes are so obvious. Forgive us. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Pulls up her skirt. Gah, um, don't worry. It's just a size check. You idiot! You're gonna make our precious eye candy run away. It's my duty as the owner. Um, Lord Meliodas? There's one thing that I'd like to ask you about. Hmm? Ask me anything. So full of yourself. Are the seven... Are you really as much of a villain as everyone says you are? If so, Lord Meliodas, what kind of crime did you commit? I think that everyone is just misunderstanding something. Because you saved someone like me whom you didn't even know. What kind of crime, huh? Ten years ago, I roamed throughout Britannia stealing all the underwear in sight. Under... You're lying, right? It's a lie. Actually, I walked around groping the breasts of over a thousand women. Br You're kidding, right? Kidding. Lord Meliodas, please stop making fun of me. Or is it that you really committed a crime that you cannot speak about? Something like that. Huh? <laughs> Poogie! <laughs> she falls. Uh, breasts in the face. Whoa, watch out! Hey, hey! We've stopped. Looks like we're here. We're here? Where is here? The next area where we can get, get information. Right up on the hill next to another town. The village of Bernia. Okay, village. Yep, and the boar, our hork's mom, is burying herself under the ground. I stock the bar with alcohol from a lot of different regions. Is that so? I come here once every few years, but Bernia's alcohol is one of a kind. Bernia ale, made with famous river water, hailed as the best in Britannia, and grout growing abundantly along the river, has fans all over Britannia. Grout, an herb used in making ale. Wait. That famous river is all dried up. What's going on? The herbs along the river are also wilted. <laughs> Shiver. <laughs> What's wrong, Elizabeth? Nothing. I just got the chills for a second. You all right? It's just that my heart is pounding a little. Let me see. <laughs> Any excuse to grab her breasts. Cut it out already. Whoa, a festival? There's a lot of people in the town square. What could it be? This is awesome advertising for the bar. That pig is talking. Yeah. Hey, guys. Huh? Oh, you're the owner of the traveling bar that comes by every year. What's today's festival for? This isn't a joke. Does this look like a festival to you? Is it the gathering of hot and sweaty geezers festival? Let me at him. We just told you that it, this isn't a festival. Ugh. We just told you that this isn't a festival. We're trying to pull out the sword that the Holy Knight stuck into the ground. Man. Kind of like the sword in the stone. Only in the ground. The Holy Knight stuck the sword. Why did he do something like that? Yesterday, the wrath of the Holy Knight fell upon us. Excuse me. The sword, imbued with his magic, sealed the underground water source. If this goes on, not only the water, but even the grout will be finished. Ugh. If that happens, Bernia's ale will be... crap. Then the chills I had earlier... The Holy Knight. Is it the one Lord Meliodas defeated yesterday? Huh? Oh. That guy wasn't really a Holy Knight. Actually, a real one is nothing like that at all. Huh? It's hard to say, but this village is finished. But... To pull out a Holy Knight's sword, we need the power of the Holy Knight. <laughs> Come on, try harder. You damn knights. 
Hey, now, what's up with the whiny tone? Mead? What's the big deal about the Holy Knight's sword? If you leave it to my pal from the Seven, it'll be easy. Oh, everybody looks shocked. Who do you think is responsible for all of this? It's your fault, Mead. Of all the things to say, you had to mention that villainous name. How dare you! Don't make the Holy Knight even angrier. What do you have against us? What? I never meant it like that. We're through with your lies and jokes. Stupid Mead. Kids are throwing rocks at him. Oh, but it hit Mel Meliodas. I hate you all. The village hates you too, Mead. Hey, knock it off. Go away. <laughs> Meliodas is taking all the shots. Shut up. Idiots. 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 Ugh, God. I'm trying not to be too loud. That's why I'm kind of lowering my voice when I do that. Why am I getting dragged into this? Everyone stop! Looks like we dropped in a bit. <sighs> Looks like we dropped in at a bad time. Oh my. Deep down, he's a good child, but... Man, what a pain. Hey kid, back there. Aren't you a kid too? I'm not a kid. Is what they said back there true? Hey, hey, is this a bar? It's my bar, the boar hat. I'm hungry. Money? Nope. Then I'll feed you after you answer my question. Grub first. All right, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Nasty. I never said it was good food. <laughs> Your friend is one of the seven. Is that true? It was so nasty that I forgot. Sniff. That, that smell. It's Bernia ale, right? Aren't you too young to drink that? I stocked that last year. I'm not a kid either. It, it tastes great, doesn't it? The sweetness, richness, and the fragrance of apples. It's the greatest ale ever. Or so the adult said. Ring, ring. Oh, it's you two. Closed. I heard from the village head, Mee-chan. What a woman. You're a big prankster, aren't you? When I was little, my father scolded me a lot for pulling pranks. Hmph. <laughs> Good for you. Congrats. I wanted his attention, because he wasn't my real father. One time, I climbed a big tree in the garden to surprise him. Then, he turned pale and started climbing up to me, even though he had never climbed a tree in his life. As expected, he couldn't climb up, fell down, and got hurt. I can't forget what happened, even now. If my father had died back then... My... My mom and dad were travelers. A few years ago, they both fell victim to an epidemic when they stopped by Bernia. I was alone, but the villagers took me in and raised me in place of my parents. I was really happy. But even then, I didn't belong to a family. And I was jealous of everyone else who had families. I told lies. I pulled pranks. When you put the worm in the Holy Knight's drink, was that also because of that? Hell no. That bastard, that Holy Knight made fools out of all of us. The adults and even the kids, they put in so much effort into making the best ale. But this year's ale was the best our village had ever made. But not only did they take it all as taxes... Disgusting. It's only slightly better than a horse than a horse's urine. Ooh. Please don't say it like that. Here, have another glass. Eh, yeah, that's not a worm. That's a grub. Please forgive us. Oh well, there goes the sword stuck in the ground. Like that thing was so huge. Did he think he wasn't going to notice? The Holy Knights are all shams. That's terrible. So when you said your friend was one of the seven, it was a lie. Why did you make up a lie like that? Aren't the seven being chased by the Holy Knights? If they're enemies of those evil Holy Knights, that, then that makes the seven the good guys, right? What? <laughs> it's from the village. Listen well, you scum. If you don't pull the sword out by sunset, we'll increase the taxes on the village by ten times. What? That's insane! 
That's cruel. If we don't have the water, forget ten times, we won't be able to make a single glass of ale. Do you understand? This is punishment. Not only did you insult Sir Holy Knight, but you also had to claim that one of the villainous seven deadly sins was a friend of yours. Crap. If only Meade hadn't done such a stupid thing. That bastard. Why did he... Enough is enough. Elder. Who was it that insulted our pride as ale brewers? Was it Meade? No. That child's actions was representative of our true feelings, was it not? Everyone, no matter what, we're going to pull this sword out. Men, we'll protect the village, the ale with our lives. And every single one of them is trying to pull out the sword now. But it doesn't seem to be doing any good. <laughs> we'll just watch you fools while we drink your cheap alcohol. Bring more ropes. And Mead's trying to help now. Mead! This is dangerous. Stay out of it. No. Everyone else, you stay out of it. This is something I have to do. All right, then. Let's do this together. Yeah. Woo! Go, go. Even with everyone from the village together, it's no use. Ooh, that guy's getting a nosebleed from all the strain. Sometimes I felt like... Pull! Pull! Come out! Son of a... Ooh, getting rope burn. Bloody hands. Come out! Come out! Mead's crying, getting a nosebleed from all the... Ah. <laughs> Look at their desperate faces. Watching them goes together perfectly with drinking. Toast to the... F Ooh. Alcohol's gone. Meliodas took their drinks. Guys who don't understand the taste of alcohol don't deserve to drink this alcohol. And the ropes around the sword broke. And Meliodas is drinking the, the ale. That was good. Sorry, but I don't have anything on me to pay you with. So how about this? Bandy pulls out the sword. Yo! With one hand. No way! The sword that only the Holy Knight can pull out. A kid? Just like that? What's that sound? That would be all the water, idiot. <laughs> it's water! The underground spring is back! I wonder how much this would sell for. Amazing. This is the strength of one of the seven? Hey, could you possibly be the real... Yep. Not just possibly. I'm a real proud owner of a bar. That's not it. Enough about that. Don't you have something to do? Mead? Um, we're sorry. Can you forgive us? <laughs> forgive or not, for someone like me... Here, go. He pushes him off. No matter what lies you make up, you can't lie to your heart. Lord Meliodas. Poor hat owner Meliodas, you're Bernia's savior. We have to toast to this. Yeah. About seven miles northwest from the village of Bernia. Just, just now we received a report from the soldier stationed at Bernia village. Fort Sol... Solgalus. An unidentified child um, pulled Lord Gilthunder's sword out. What do you think about this, sir? A holy Knight appears. A confrontation is coming soon. Still lots of volume with 30 pages to be continued in Chapter 3. Bernia gets the water back. Meeting a hero, the young man regains his smile. Talking about mead. <laughs> chapter 3. Something I must do. Alright, a princess, a pig, and a criminal. An action-packed journey to save the world. Chapter 3. Something I must do. Chatter, chatter. <laughs> Alright, we wish good fortune upon Bernia's savior Meliodas and his bar, the boar hat, as well as Bernia's ale trade. 
That's enough introduction. Let's begin by toasting with Bernia Ale. Cheers! Can I really do this? It's my first time doing something like this. My heart is pounding. I see, I see. It's your first time. Say it one more time. What are you getting all excited for? <laughs> Being a waitress will be fine once you get used to it. I understand. The most important thing is to gather info about the Seven, after all. Info on the whereabouts of the Holy Knights would be fine, too. Even if they're not directly related, it could be a lead. That's it for the serious talk. Take it easy now. Yes! I'll take it easy! <laughs> but she's not taking it easy at all. As always, Bernia's ale is the best. Oh, that's right. The river's water level rose a lot because the Holy Knight's sword dammed up the water source. What a messed up thing to do. I heard that some youngster named Arthur came, became king way down south in Camelot. Oh, King Arthur. That's really amazing. Really? This morning, my chickens laid five eggs at once. Oh, Pig John. Been a long time. Look at that. Those are the seven deadly sins in that bulletin board. Yo. I told the kids to stay away from the river, but... I'm worried about my son who's stationed at Fort Solga Sogalis. Of course. This... This Marlene girl, she's my type. I feel you, man. You still haven't been caught? Master, what's the age of your... Gloucester, wa Gloucester wine? I've got a 10-year and a 13-year. You're letting your wife walk all over you. What? <laughs> Miss, order... Yes, right away. Four cheese bake migratory birds. No, make that five, and four apple-like pies, and... Have you heard? The Holy Knights, and some Gloucester wine. Are you listening? Huh? Yes. Cheese-baked migratory pig and pie-like breasts. Eight each, right? Completely wrong. Cheese-baked pig. That's why even the Holy Knights avoid the White Dream Forest. Hunters don't go there either. It's dangerous there. Oh, it's not information on the Holy Knights. Hurry up with our order. I I'm sorry. So, a child pulled out my sword? Um, the soldiers I saw it must have been out of their minds. It must have been an accident. Like, it must have been an accident that the child... Are you suggesting that an accident could pull out a Holy Knight sword? No, sir. Not at all, but... I will see for myself whether this, is an a this was an accident. Give me directions and the distance to Bernia. And get it right. Yes, sire. From this fort, it's four o'clock southeast, 7.3 miles away. Are you heading out to the village? No. I'm not going to say as if, like he's saying as if. Your spear. Can I borrow it? Yes, please. This angle, huh? Oh, he's going to toss the spear. It looks like it's being imbued with... I'm going to say lightning. I know his name's Gil Thunder, but, you know, it's actually lightning that gives off a charge. Oh, whoa! A lot of lightning. And he tosses it. Well, not really toss. He throws it. Ping! Oh, he senses that it's coming. What's wrong, Master? Um, nothing. Squeak, squeak. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll clean it up right away. Slip. Ah. Leave the cleaning up to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you hurt, little lady? Here, take my hand. It's all right, it's all right. I... <laughs> Elizabeth. Maybe this was an important job for a princess after all. Oh, Meliodas, are you going to cheer her up? Huh? I'm going to pee. Man, what an unreliable owner. Pig John, seconds. The bar is completely dependent on me. Yeah, he's not going to pee. <sighs> Lord Meliodas, I'm pretty useless, huh? Huh? I get all the orders wrong. I break all the plates and cups. I think it's around here. Can't gather a single bit of useful information. It's 
So a little to the right. When I thought I had finally gotten information on where the Holy Knights are. It was just something about a, about a forest. A conversation about a forest that Holy Knights go out of the way to avoid doesn't do us any good at all. What was that just now? It's laughable. For such a useless waitress to want to protect this, the people of this country. When I had just started the bar, it wasn't easy for me either. I messed up with the stocks. My food wasn't good, no matter how much I tried. But you're not an ordinary bar owner, right? You're one of the legendary seven. And you're a princess. A princess can't do anything. I don't have the strength to fight the Holy Knights or to protect the country and its people. But you found me, right? If you didn't have the determination to protect the people and to find my bar by yourself while you were barely able to walk, none of this would have started. Besides, I think I found a good waitress. Did anyone yell at you when you messed up? On the other hand, I get yelled at all the time. Did you see the way everyone was smiling at you? I'll give it my best shot. Something I can do. <laughs> it just means I have something I must do, huh? You got it. And I have something I must do as well. And here comes the spear. Huh? What is... And he grabs it with one hand, but it... Ooh. The force is pulling him back. But he's got his feet planted, and he's stopped the spear. Even though it did a lot of damage to a lot of the homes. And it ripped off his shirt. Well, his sleeve, anyway. Lord Meliodas! Yeah, no, he didn't stop. He's actually still going. Ah, and it's ripping off the skin from his hand. Oh, and now he's doing a spin. And it stopped. And now he's tossing it back. Oh! It's got an arc on it, too. Hey, what did Lord Holy Knight do just now? By now, Bernie has probably been wiped off of Britannia's maps. What? My pops is in Bernia. No, don't do it! Captain Kyle. Sire, it looks like there is a shortage of laborers in the kingdom. Even if you have to round up entire villages, increase the supply of workers. Yes, sire. Understood. Oh, and he senses the spears coming. Man, it's destroyed the tower. It's an enemy attack. Where's the enemy? Lord Gilthunder, are you safe? No way is... is he... I know the identity of that child. No mistake about it. Ooh. Cut his cheek, but that's pretty much all the damage. Well, to him anyway. You were alive after all. Seven deadly sins. Lord Meliodas, was that the same holy knight who attacked the village? Probably. What is that? What's going on? Looks like it'll be better for everyone if we leave the village. But what if the what if he targets here again? It'll be more dangerous if we stay here. Besides, they know we won't be besides, they know we won't stay in the village forever. But we haven't gathered any information. You already have, Elizabeth. Alright, let's go. Um huh? To where? Please at least tell me where we're going. What is it that we must do? What we must do? Oh, you mean, yep, find the seven deadly sins. Elizabeth regains her confidence. Let's go to find more allies. All right, chapter four. The sin of the sleeping forest. Hurry to where big things are happening. Allies await you there. Alright. It's been almost three hours since we entered the forest. But we haven't seen a single person or animal here. 
excuse me, snort. The only things I see are trees and branches. I'm getting sick of this. Lord Meliodas, is one of the seven really hiding in this forest? Clop, 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 clop. Probably. So we're here for no reason? What? I think there are rumors of a crazy monster in this forest. <laughs> What's going on, Elizabeth? So, something is touching my butt. Oh, don't worry, it's just me. Oh, that's all right then. She scared me a bit. How is that all right? Because it's somebody she knows. Not some weird monster or whatever just lurking around, grabbing people's butts. I do have a hunch. This forest is this forest of white dreams is covered by fog all year long. Traveling on horse here is difficult, and it's easy to lose your sense of direction. Even people used to traveling like hunters avoid this forest. Oh, so this forest could be the perfect... Oh, so this forest would be perfect for hiding from the Holy Knights. Ding. What? Huh? What's up? N no, it's nothing. Hey, you two. Monsters always attack while you're messing around, so cut it out. No one likes a paranoid piglet. <laughs> Who's a paranoid piglet, huh? Oh, he seems to have multiplied. This is the real one, though. He's the only one out of all these pigs that has the uh, tag on his ear, from what I can see. Huh? I'm everywhere! What the hell? Oh, yeah, uh... Hell, damn, bastard. That's all fine. I'm, not, I'm just like the other words I'm not going to say. Is is this the monster in the forest? He was right. This is pretty crazy. Hey, Meliodas, you might not believe me, but I'm the real one. No, I'm the real one. Shut up, you fake. Please do something about this. Yeah, he's the only one with a tag, so... No, no mercy. Work, John. He just knocked them all out. But I mean, come on. This one says Starbore. That's obviously the real one. Elizabeth Chan, even Mama doesn't hit me. Hey, wait, Hork Chan. Oh, and now it's transformed into her. Me? A bunch of hers. <laughs> Lord Meliodas, I am the real one. You can tell, right? Lord Meliodas, I I'm right here. No, I'm the real one. No, it's me. I'm the real Elizabeth. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, breasts galore. Now is not the time. Please believe me. Please, what should I do? Go away, human. Leave the forest. Who's saying that? C crap. What are we going to do, Meliodas? Lord Meliodas. <laughs> I'm the real one. Mm, I can't tell them apart by looking. You human pests. <laughs> nope. Trying to, trying to kill him. Now, let's see. Which one is the real one? If <laughs> He drops Hork. I'm the real one. Please forgive. Please believe me. I'll do whatever you want to convince you. All right. Then you have to do exactly as I tell you, all right? Right hand up, left hand on your cheek. Say my name with an embarrassed face. Lord Meliodas. <laughs> I like the one on the right. Doesn't look embarrassed. It's got like a weird uh, smirk on her face. Massage your breasts. Whoa, what a view. Take this seriously. Leave, human. Ow, ow, ow. For my lord. Lord Meliodas, are you hurt? What should I... You will not pass through here. All right, this is the last test. Jump as high as you can. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Okay, she's the real one. <laughs> uh, he just attacks all of them. Huh? 
Well, other than the real one. And they turn into one one person. Oh, no, it's a bunch of different people. Hey, so those were the monsters in the forest. The prankster imps, hide and seeks. Let's chase them. Huh? They must be running back to something. Oh, that's right. You can have this back. What? I knew it. You were the panty thief. <laughs> oh, that's why he asked her to jump. And that's why she wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't have done it anyway, but still. Look, look at that. They're running to that little girl. Hey, hey, are they going to attack her next? Oh, no, we have to hurry. Huh? Oh, nope, looks like she's got a serpent on her thigh. Oh, yeah, well, God, what was this chick's name? can't remember her name, but I know I've... I know I know who she is. Diane. Okay, yeah, Lord Diane. We've allowed a holy knight to come through. Please forgive us. A misunderstanding that will lead to trouble. Nope. Oh, looks like we're heading to chapter five. Final one for the night. This one's called Memory in Darkness. Take a drink. The true identity of the lovely, beautiful, giant girl they found in the forest is... Volume 1 will be released in February of 2013. 24 pages. Oh, okay. Getting to about normal chapter length now. Lord Diane! We've allowed a holy knight to come through! Please forgive us! Oh, she's awake. Us? Holy Knight? You got it wrong! So, so huge. Lord Meliodas! He disappeared! Hey! He's up, he's over there! A holy Knight? Hey, giant woman! Are you going to eat Meliodas? Let Lord Meliodas go. Meliodas? Yo, Diane! It's been ten years! Captain! Oh, giving him a hug. He doesn't look happy at all. <sighs> it's like a dream come true. Rub, rub. Diane? You mean this giant is one of the seven? The sin of envy, Diane? Oh! Captain, you remembered that I love whole roasted pig. What? Oh, you're not... Oh, you're not? Let me make myself clear. I'm not a pig for food. Oh, you're not? Oh, Captain, you remembered that I love whole roasted pig. Drool. What? Let me make myself clear. I'm not a pig for food. Oh, you're not? Who's that girl? Nice to meet you, Lord Diane. I'm Elizabeth. I'm traveling together with Lord Meliodas. Just you and the captain, plus a pig. Y yes. Oh, is that so? Yep, yep. Anyway. You cheater! Oh, slams him to the ground. <laughs> I love the face on Elizabeth. <laughs> Jesus. It's making a mess. Just when I thought I f was finally reunited with the man I like, you bring another woman with you? You scarred my woman's heart. If you have any excuses, say them now. Diane, I don't need an ex- I don't want to hear your excuses! Captain, you pervert! Womanizer! No, well, that, that's pretty typical right there. Give me your excuses. I don't want to hear your excuses. God, just hear me out! Time passes, time passes. And that's why Elizabeth is traveling to find the Seven to stop the Holy Knights. Oh, is that it? You haven't changed a bit. Sorry, I got ahead of myself and went a little out of control. How is this a little? Ooh, giving her a dirty stare. So your relationship with the captain isn't like that, huh? Yes. By the way, our relationship isn't like that either. What? <sighs> Excuse me. So, Captain, you're lending your strength to find 
Ah. So, Captain, you're lending your strength to the princess to find the other seven? Well, yeah, but I've got my own reasons, too. I want to ask you guys something. Hey, Diane. About what happened ten years ago. Huh? Oh. That wonderful day when we were summoned by the great holy knight. I have lost... N I have almost no memories from that day. Huh? You don't have any memories? Really? The last thing I remember is... Ten years ago. Why are we being summoned to a... <sighs> ten years ago. Why are we being summoned to an old castle on the outskirts of town on today of all days? No, they all got armor. Lord Great Holy Knight said he had an important matter to discuss. An important matter, huh? Man, today is the National Foundation Festival, so I thought I could go drinking. Captain, you're always drinking anyway. That's true. Oh, maybe it's a special reward for defeating the Troll Queen a while back. Then it's probably a scolding. We also broke the Great Druid Altar when we did that. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. After the scolding, let's go to the festival. You already decided that it's a scolding? Knock, knock. Hello? Oh. Um. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> wow. Great Holy Knight. How cruel. He's been completely skewered. Who would do such a thing? More importantly, why was the Great Holy Knight targeted? Holy Knights are vital guardians of the kingdom. God of War-like entities. To kill someone like that is equivalent to treason. This sense. What's with this timing? 200... No, there's over 300. This is bad. We're surrounded by all the knights of the kingdom. Yep, somebody's been framed. Crap, they're starting to attack. Captain! We'll figure this out later. For now, disperse. We'll regroup afterwards. Understood. What the hell's going on? Captain, I'm sorry. And... Bzzz, that's all of it. That's all he remembers. Those were the last words I can remember. When I came to my senses, I was lying in a hole somewhere. That's where I met Hork. Then the seven deadly sins were framed for the murder of the Great Holy Knight. Does this mean that one of the seven is a traitor? Don't know. Ooh, something like that happened. That's why I want to know what happened back then. No. That's why I want to know what happened back then. I don't care if it's about a traitor or a holy knight, but for my captain, I, the serpent sin of envy, Diane, will lend you my strength. All right. That'll help a lot. Thank you, Lord Diane. Let me make this clear, princess. The only reason I'm helping you is for the captain. All right. Lord Diane threatened us to help hide her from her for ten years, or she would go on a rampage. Now we can finally live in peace. You guys had it rough, huh? <laughs> Smells like rain clouds. Huh? Hey guys, look up! What is up with that gigantic thunder cloud? Yep, and that's probably Gil Thunder. Yep, definitely Gil Thunder. What's this? Captain! Oh, her eyes are arms are tied. My body's paralyzed. I can't move. Yep, there's Gil Thunder. We finally meet Sin. A holy knight. Seven deadly sins versus holy knight. The climactic battle approaches. Man. I would have to stop at five, huh? It's getting good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've read this, so a lot of it's going to be like new to me again. I do remember really enjoying this manga. I need to... Uh, I need to watch the anime. I don't know. Bell and I will have to do a reaction on this series whenever we get the chance. I think it's on my list of 100. Uh, we still got a little bit to go before the, we get to those, though, because, like I said, 
before, and I, I think a couple of videos, actually. We still have three series that we have to complete before we start, you know, adding adding shows from our other list. Um, yeah, that might be that might be next afterwards from our list anyway. Plus, maybe a few others. I'll have to take a look at the list and see what we can do. But um, anyway, yeah, I really like this manga. It's pretty. It's really funny. Um, action's really good. Uh, I know it said that it was etchy, which I don't really mind, but it didn't really seem like all that much. A few gropings here and there. Um, that's about it, though. It's not like it was anything too extravagant. Like, God, uh, um, other shows and series. <laughs> um, I do remember... What was it I was trying to say? I do remember... Oh God, what's that guy's name? I, I know my favorite character uh, gets comes in next. Um, as far as the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, God, if I could remember his name. But... Yeah, there. I like this, this series. Um, again, it's 100 and... I think it was 81, 91 chapters right now. Um... I might just stick to the the five chapters every every video. I know I said I'd do ten in one. Of, was was it the uh, assassination classroom? But I might stick to five. Five seems to be a good bound because that's up to an hour. I don't want these to be too too long, like you know, two hours and all that. But anyway, yeah, this is a good series. Um, if there's anything that you think I can do better, you know, as far as um, I don't know, reacting or reading or whatever. I mean, I know it um, sounds a little weird when I, <laughs> they're yelling and I'm bringing my voice down, but I don't want to be too loud. I mean, I'm not the only one in this house, so you know, I don't want to bother the others in the house. Um, so yeah, I will try to get this up soon. I don't know why I'm saying that, because by the time this gets uploaded, it'll already be uploaded, so it doesn't matter. I'll just edit that out. Um, so yeah, um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed my reading slash reaction to this series. Um, also check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where there will be updates on the channel and, uh, memes, news articles, um, and anything else I can think of that I could put on there. So until next time, bye!